Any sewing machine with a zigzag stitch can use a twin needle or double needle. I'll usually use that name kind of interchangeably, but what are we talking about when we're using a double needle? So it's a needle with two needles on it, and then on the package it will say like 2.0 slash 80. So this one would be at two needles, two millimeters apart, and a size 80 needle. This would be a 3.0, three millimeters apart, and a slightly bigger needle at size 90. Now you can use these for, um, pin tucks. You can use them for decorative stitches as well. And you can also use them to simulate that double row of stitching on the bottom of like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. So I'm going to put in a 2.0 double needle. Now did you notice that this machine's stitch width goes all the way up to five? So if you don't tell them, well you can't tell the machine you're going to put a wider needle on. So just make sure that you always test your stitch. Narrow it down to two or three. Don't go up to five because the needle will hit the foot on this side and then work its way to the other side and break that needle as well. So just start with a straight stitch, normal stitch length, and center needle position before you get started. And then work your way into maybe a couple decorative stitches. You are going to need to test it though. Not all the decorative stitches will work with a twin needle. So what are we talking about? We're talking about taking the needle out that we have, adding a second spool of thread in. Now where would you actually put a second spool of thread? So there are thread stands that you can purchase, and that would be truly where that second spool will go. But I'm going to just put my second one, I'm going to just set it right in front of the machine, just right down here. I'm going to use kind of that, um, <laughs> the little spindle for the need, the bobbin winder as a place to run it up to. And then I'm going to thread it, and I'm going to make sure that it goes right inside that groove. Remember, make sure it really gets deep inside there. Both the threads are having to go through the same tension disc. So that is something that it kind of puts a little bit of strain on the machine just in trying to squeeze on two threads instead of just one. Now you do have that needle threader on this machine, but when you have two needles, it doesn't line up, it lines up in the middle. So I'm going to just lower the presser foot down and manually thread the needles myself. And then that way uh, we can get started. It really doesn't matter which thread goes in which needle, so just pick one. Uh, the machine doesn't care if <laughs> they'll just all roll down through here. Now once I get them threaded, I do want to just test. I'm going to start kind of slow. I'm not going to race off here, but I am going to start with just a straight stitch. And I'm going to hand turn those first couple of stitches and then make sure that everything is threaded correctly. All right, so stitching and watch. I have some variegated thread on and some solid color, so it's going to kind of look fun. So I'm going to bring this up and oh there we go. We have what we're looking for. So you do have two stitches on the front, but the bobbin does double duty, so it kind of looks like a zigzag on the back side. But speaking of zigzag, let's go ahead and pick a zigzag stitch. Let's add a little width, not a lot, because again that swing of the needle does change a little bit and we don't want to step off the edge of the presser foot. So we're going to just take our time, go slow, until you build the confidence up that everything's running nice and smooth. And all of a sudden you can start to have some fun stitches that look totally different. So remember when we were stitching out our decorative stitches? Can you imagine going back and stitching all your stitches now with a twin needle? If you are doing some decorative work, a little hint, try the needles that are a little closer together, not the big far apart wide ones, to get more bang for your buck. But look at that, how fun is that stitch? So whether you're doing just some simple repair or stitching on some knit fabric, you will find a twin needle slash double needle will work in the Singer Tradition 2277 machine.